Hello, everybody. DF here, and we're back with my boyfriend, Kamikaze. Hello. And we are back with playing Slay the Princess. I'm going to see what other little events we can trigger here. Whoa. All right. Um, Spooky. So, new game, I suppose, because we actually did make it to the end. I wonder how far we're making yep. tonight. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Okay, so I'm not so sure if we should waste time with all this extra dialogue and just keep going. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Come on, scroll! Scroll, you damn thing! Scroll, scroll, scroll! Uh, if the developers are watching this, can you make the little thing here easier to move? <laughs> okay, let's just go to the cabin. Such a claw hand. You make your way up the short path to the yes, cabin. Yes, we know. Before you go. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Sorry, guys. She will lie. We... We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a prince. Yes. Ignore him. <laughs> he doesn't know what he's talking about. Yes, and well, isn't it interesting to watch now that we we know who the narrator is? Well, sort of. <laughs> I got an idea of who yes. they are. This whole thing is so we can are. end death. <laughs> the interior of the cabin is almost the blade is your imp. Yep. Okay. All right. So, so are we take it in or are we leaving it? Hmm. Uh, okay. Well... <laughs> There are definitely a lot of things we haven't done. So what haven't we done? We've killed her. We've tried to save her. Mm. We haven't locked her in the basement. We have not locked her in the, the basement. The question, do we want to do it entering with with or without the blade? Or actually, if we... Because remember when we took the blade, it affected our conversation at the very end? The very, very end? It, it did. So maybe if our on our first, I put in quotes, first encounter, we go without the blade. <laughs> we go without the, I just yeah. noticed something. Look, look, look. Along the text, you see all these feathers? <laughs> oh, that those are those are our feathers. Yeah, our feathers or or the narrators, because we know he's like it... this bird like creature too. I think it's our feathers because because of our claw and like those are our choices over there. And then of course the long, quiet little waviness that we are. <laughs> yeah, which they, which they said we were the long, quiet, which is just so bizarre. So yeah, let's have our first decision go to. Not taking the blade. Let's just just move forward. Yeah. Press on. Press on. The door to the basement creaks open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her voice softly carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? It's hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Yeah, yet you don't remember it because... <laughs> don't let it fool you. It's all... No. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. All part of the manipulation. So... Hmm. Ooh, you know what we haven't done? We haven't tried lying. <laughs> We haven't. Lie, I'm here to save you. Wait, really? You're here to rescue me? I, I was starting to think I'd be stuck down here forever. I see. You're trying to get her to lower her guard. It's a gamble, but it might work. We're not doing this for you. Come We're downstairs. I want to uh -huh. see the face of my rescuer. We're not doing this for you. We're doing this for science. <laughs> yep. It's an adventure. You walk Experience. down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. I never did make She's sense of that beautiful. one missing chain on the other side. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? No, we did We did make sense, <laughs> because remember, we, I mean, we inspected we, we it and we got... It in a... Yeah, but in this instance, it doesn't even have like a latch on it right now. Yes, because maybe it's meant to symbolize that like we're chained in this forever loop too. <laughs> 
We're stuck, guys. We can't do anything to impact anything I except for... I am begging her. you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. Hi. I can't believe you're here. I've been waiting for something like this to happen forever. Hmm. I hope you brought something to deal with these chains. You were lying when you said you were here to rescue her, but regardless of your intentions, breaking her out of those chains would be a big mistake. Don't even try it. Okay, mm. hold on. Let's talk a bit first, or I'll see what I can do. Let's talk a bit first, because I think that will lead up to the... Okay. Because I think it's only when you approach her that we yeah. have the option to lock her in the basement. We're so mean. You're probably right. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I don't know anything cool. about you. For all I know, you're locked up down here for a reason. Uh... Or do we want just want to go straight to locking her away? Because <laughs> we kind of... Mm. I think we did all the... Di did we do all the dialogue for this? Um... I feel like we've done a handful of it. It's like, I'm going to keep you locked away down here, at least for a little bit. We can get to know each other better while I decide what to do. Keep her locked away. Oh, boy. <laughs> or, I'm sorry, but I just can't trust you. This doesn't add up. And it isn't worth the risk to take your word over the potential fate of the world. Retrieve the blade. We're back upstairs. Retrieve the blade mm. without saying another word. Hmm. What's well, that? Maybe I'm keeping you down here like well, this. Well, we could just say the locked up one, because you haven't, you haven't seen what happens when we try to lock her away. Well, a lot of things can happen. That's true. We haven't, mm -hmm. we haven't made many attempts at that. So, let's just do that. <laughs> skip, skip that the seems formalities. Like a pretty good compromise. But she's like, uh, not really. That does not sound like a good compromise. Um, I don't think I could bear being down here that much longer. Leaving her alive is well, too like risky. Then. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. So I'm the only one who liked that idea. One way or another, <laughs> I'm going to find a way out of here. Mm. It would make it easier for both of us if you'd help. Well, you changed your tune mm. pretty fast. <laughs> but if you don't, I can promise that you'll regret that decision. I'm sure we will. I'm very sure we will. We have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes, it's the right one. <laughs> eh, just lock her in the basement. <laughs> lock her in the basement. Lock her up. Lock it up. Lock it up. Oh, no, no. I can't believe I made that joke. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no one wins here. That was terrible. It's a chance we'll have to take. We can make this work if we just stay here and keep watch. No one has to die. Where are you going? You, you just leave me here. Did that audio glitch I mean, happen to you too? <laughs> uh, yes. Well, that wasn't intentional, but it worked for this line. That was kind of creepy. Turn your back to the princess <laughs> and make your way back to the stairs. I'll, I'll fix it. Fine. In. Up we go. Turn your back on me, but it won't be long before I slip these chains. And once I'm out of here, there will be hell to pay for leaving me behind. <laughs> Skip these chains. She can't, right? She needed our help to get out of here. But do you hear the conviction in her voice? I don't think she's bluffing. Either way, she dropped the mask, didn't she? You can still grab the blade and get back down here. Hmm. Like, no, we're sticking in the plan and locking her away. Oh, that's a relief. I was afraid I'd already committed to not slaying her. <laughs> do you want to go full locking up or do you want to go back down and slay her? We gotta lock, we gotta lock it up. Lock, lock, lock up the door. It's like we're <laughs> sticking the death to the of all of us, but fine. We'll do it your. We'll Sounds do like it you don't even give a shit, Mr. Narrator. You close the basement door, locking it behind you and quickly barricading it with the heavy wooden table that once held the blade. It ain't a okay. good idea. We can make this work. Okay, I'm going to tell you already, this is one of the more terrifying routes. You settle in against the far mm. wall to watch the basement door. It isn't long before you start to drift off, your eyelids heavy with fatigue. But sleep doesn't come. Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. I know you're still there. Why don't you make oh, things easier on yourself and let me out? Deep. 
Oh boy. It's not like this little door I'll hold for very long anyways. Um, it's probably a good idea to try to get back on my good side. She sounds oh my God. terrified. Like she's less of the princess you saw and more like something out of a nightmare. As she violently rattles the door, you do your best to shut her out of your mind. When I get out of here, I'm going to pick you apart piece by piece. I won't forget what you did, and I'll never forgive it. You don't know the kind of enemy you've made tonight. It doesn't sound like she's getting any weaker. No, it doesn't. <laughs> so we can threaten her. Threaten me all you want. All it does is ease my guilty conscience. So all that was just an act, wasn't it? You're not really innocent or harmless. You're not even a princess. You're a monster. Or ignore her and go to sleep. <laughs> Honey, you're still I there. I think it's kind of easy. Yeah, I'm still here. I think this eases my guilty conscience. It's just a fact. These aren't threats. These are promises. Sooner or later, you're going to have to sleep. And I'll make sure you never see the light of day again. You put the princess's threats out oh, of your boy. mind as best you can and huddle up against the wall. Oh, why didn't we do this while we were t physically together? I could have at least held your hand and all this. You jolt awake in the middle of the night to silence in the cabin. The ruckus has stopped. And the door to the basement is ajar. It's lock broken and the table shoved out of the way. Where is she? Uh-oh. Thanks for helping me get out of that awful basement. <laughs> oh, boy. You try and stumble to your feet, but as the princess draws near, it's as though your body simply stops working, comes in waves. First your toes go numb, oh, yeah. and then your feet. And then your legs. It's still you lie scary. Prone on the floor of the cabin, unable to do anything but witness her approach. Whose side are you on? Yours, of course. But I have a duty to uphold the truth. Lying about the facts of the on, situation doesn't change them. Huh? It's a. Uh... So helpless. I can take my time with you, can't I? Oh, shit. She steps closer, one silent footfall at a time, cocking her head in curiosity as you feel your organs shutting down one by one. Or maybe I can't take my time with you. You don't look well. A little green around the gills. So apparently we have gills! What a shame. If you'd only help me get out of here, we could have done such wonderful things together. Your lungs stop drawing in breath, and your heart freezes in your chest. You have seconds left. I'd say better luck next time, but we both know this is the end, don't we? It can't be. What's this can't on? actually be <laughs> how everything ends. Sorry about the audio glitch, guys. I, th I think she does. Everything goes dark. And you die. Claire, honey. I didn't see much of that. Oh, you didn't see, you didn't see much of that craziness. You're on a path a in the woods. Is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. All right, I think we managed to get our connection back. She must have just destroyed everything. Okay. She definitely All right. did. So, yeah, I know. Deja vu. I guess we're just going to go I... to the cabin. <laughs> I suppose so. <laughs> what I did see, she looked absolutely oh, warning. fucked up. <laughs> Before you go any further. She will lie... She will cheat. I don't think lying and cheating is a thing. She was very direct with us last time. Or at least she was direct with us after we decided to lock her away. It doesn't matter. Don't trust anyone. Now we got the voice of the Ooh. paranoid. <laughs> so, some, someone's getting a little antsy. Okay. 
Well, if you want to see the full thing, um, you could see my my demo play. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty phantasmic. <laughs> The interior of the cabin is plain, the smooth wood of the walls almost featureless. The only furniture of note is a lone table, um, knocked on its side in the corner of the room. Uh, a pristine blade out. stands between you and the open, inviting basement doorway. Uh, Honey, the shadows outside the window. I was about to say, I don't remember those in the demo, did I just miss them? But, um, um, oh. also, I don't like dark doorways. You never know what's gonna come out of them. That's fucked up. The blade is your is... implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Hold on. What happened to the door? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's just an empty frame. She's already gotten out, hasn't she? And she's ready for us. She's been waiting. Can't you feel her eyes on us? I can see her. Kind of. I'm going to need all of you to pull yourselves together. Oh, the princess has not already gotten <laughs> out. But if you keep getting stuck in your head like this, you're going to struggle to get the job done. So deep breath in, deep breath out. Your task awaits, and only you can do it. Boy. Fucking, I'm taking the blade! I'm taking the blade! I'm taking the fucking blade! You reach down and pick the blade up. No more, Miss Nice floor. Girl! It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Good. Steel can't lie to us. Is it <laughs> gonna be enough, though? Okay. Couldn't you have given us something else? Something, I don't know, better than a knife? Could we have a bomb? <laughs> have a bomb. The blade is the only thing you need to finish your task. You're more than capable of pulling this off, so long as you don't lose faith in yourself. We really are capable like of pulling us off since we learned that the we're, we're the long quiet, we're permanents. <laughs> Those are the words of someone who knows he's sending us to our death. Ugh, I'm sorry about the audio glitches. This happens every time I do a gameplay via Discord. It's not usually a problem too much when it's monster problem and no one's talking on the game anyway, but okay. So let's just... <laughs> I don't want to do this! You cross over the threshold and onto a series of isolated oh steps, suspended in darkness. <laughs> it's worse uh, than the whoa. demon lady. Um, that's, did that- that's those, fucked up. Uh, those are not lights, those are eyes blinking at us. Oh, oh god, yeah, I see one blinking. Ooh. Yeah, I wasn't uh. sure how well it was showing up on your end. Those are blinking! <laughs> More eyes, too. You never mentioned Ooh. the eyes. <laughs> the air seeping up from below reminds you of fresh lightning and static. As if you're descending into a place that isn't meant for a creature of flesh and blood. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her cruel and playful voice prances up the stairs. I didn't think you'd come back. We're gonna have a lot of fun, you and I. Where's my cat when you need her? Come back. Oh boy. She must have you confused with someone else. You really uh, don't sure. remember, do you? It doesn't matter, we need a game plan. We know we can't just go down there unprepared. Okay. Mm. How hard is it to throw a knife? <laughs> I was I'm gonna going to say, to... how hard is it to throw a knife? Okay, step off into the void between the stairs. Ooh, or I'm going to talk to her. Or we don't need a plan, I'm just going to kill her. Mr. Narrator seems to think I can do it. I don't know why you're all being such <laughs> pessimists right now. Okay. <laughs> or continue down the stairs in silence. Step off into the void between the stairs. Will that do anything? <laughs> I mean, it'll do something. That is, like, I'm sure it will. <clears throat> that sounds the most interesting. Well, we just end up there anyway. <laughs> hmm. I want to know. I want to know what happens. How about you? I think we're going to be stuck in a sea of floating eyeballs in the void, but sure, why not? <laughs> You attempt to step off the stairs and into the pitch black surrounding them, but you're stopped by an invisible force. Why did you do that? What did you think would happen? Ah, uh, apparently nothing. 
Well, um, well, I was curious. I don't know. Well, falling into an infant void seemed better than going downstairs and dying. I'm just scared. I'm going to say that. How would falling into an infinite void be better than anything? <laughs> you didn't play the demo. I know what's down there. <laughs> you make your oh, way boy. to the bottom of the stairs. As you oh, emerge, boy. you find yourself between two loose rows of white wooden planks suspended in nothingness. A smattering of cobblestones visible against the inky black of the basement mark where the floor should be, forming vague pathways. At what seems to be the end of the room, they diverge in opposite directions, left and right. She could be anywhere, and, and there's nowhere for us directions. to hide. We're completely exposed. Are you really not going to comment on how weird this place is? No, I'm not. Somebody needs to be the voice of reason here, and it certainly isn't you. Shut up! Okay, I'm gonna put a quick save, quick save, quick save. <laughs> before before we die. Excuse me, yeah, I'm being incredibly way. reasonable. You're the one who's just matter-of-factly describing whatever the hell we're looking at like it's an ordinary basement. Mm-hmm. We're going to die down here. I don't want to die again. Please stop saying that. You're only going to make things worse. Just pick a direction and start moving. Well, I wouldn't give it too much thought if I were you. It doesn't really matter. Because either way you go, I'm going to find you. Oh, God. Okay, go right towards eyeballs. Go left towards probably more eyeballs. Or do nothing. Go back the way you came. Hmm. Oof. Doesn't look like this. I don't the, know uh, exactly. Doesn't look like a good idea either way. <laughs> Honestly, it looks like there's more of a path to the right. The path to the left seems to lead right in, right into a wooden door. Wood, right, wooden it is. Door just floating there. You turn to the right. All right. A faintly outlined path lies before you. There you are. I told you I was going to find you. Honey, can you see it? <laughs> As the princess approaches, your legs suddenly go numb. Can you see it, hon? Your arms quickly follow. This is it, isn't it? Oh, God. Andrew brought a little knife with you. Cute. to reconnect to the stream. Can you see it? <laughs> Cause this is terrifying. Honey, you still there? Honey? Honey? <laughs> Starting to think this route really doesn't like Discord. Honey, I've been paused on this for a very long time. Oh, God. Okay, okay, I'll take those yes. Okay, sorry, guys, we had to reconnect because apparently this route really doesn't like Discord. It appeared for half a second. There and has to be a way out of this. Think. No, I can't Think. see it. I mean, she keeps blinking in and out, so that makes sense. <laughs> what did you do? Pull yourself together. She isn't supposed to be like this. I wonder how many times I'll get to play with you before you break. Ooh, they added some new images, too. Uh, your vision cuts out as your blood begins loading. to coagulate. Being is coming to a lurching halt. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Heart, I can't hear lungs, it for some reason. Liver. It's very soft right now. <laughs> heart. Oh my nerves, god, it keeps repeating. Heart, lungs. <laughs> Stop! God! Oh He's repeating the same thing over and over, and it's freaky. Heart. Come on, share system audio. Share system audio. Come on. Um, Why don't you let me share it? Why don't you let me fucking share it? Ah! Thank you. Is everything okay over there? Shut up! We your get lungs it. pull in a desperate gulp of air as your Whoa. eyes shoot back open. What are you doing? I'm 
working. Do you want this body to function, or do you want... Is that what you kept repeating it? And then experience stops once more as your body reapproaches death. Okay, whatever you were doing, please just start doing it again. Yes. Are you sure about that? Are you sure that's what you want, or do you want to interrupt me some more? You have seconds left. Shut yes, up. I'm sure. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Hey, are you able to listen? <laughs> Again, your eyes shoot open as you gasp for breath. Liver, nerves. Can't decide what you want to do, can you? Come on. Liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver. Oh well, standing there gasping like a fish is more fun than dead. Even if you look ridiculous. Nerves, heart. She isn't attacking us. Come on. Why? Honey, what happened? The why doesn't matter. She's already proven her ill intent. Don't lose sight of your mission. Your weapon is still in your hands. Strike at her and end this before it's too late. Honey, are you still there? Let's go with why won't you finish me off? Because I don't want to. And even if I did, I don't have to. Liver. Look at the way you're struggling to stay alive. It's taking everything you have to keep your heart pumping right now. And I'm enjoying the show. Liver. The princess leans forward, bringing her masked lips close to your ears. Deep! If I want to see you gone, all I need to do is break your concentration. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Heart, lungs, liver, nerve. She slowly runs her velvet glove across the base of your neck. It feels like static. And then... Shit, shit, shit. Make her stop. Mm. It... Mm. Hey, snap out of it. Okay, deep breath. Deep breath, we're fine. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart. heart You're back. Lungs, liver, nerves, heart. Oh, geez. Lungs, liver, One moment, nerves, heart, and then you're lungs, gone. Liver, nerves, Just heart, like lungs, liver, that. Nerves, hey, I can ah, see. Lungs, and liver, there's um, the fear. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. She pulls heart, away. Lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves. But that wouldn't heart, be very fun, lungs, now um, would it? Nerves, I've already heart, done my Lungs, liver, Nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Okay, uh, liver, nerve, what happened after heart, you killed me last lungs, time? I tried to leave while you suffocated, heart, lungs, but that stupid liver, cabin nerves, wouldn't heart, let me. Lungs, so liver, I started to drag nerves, your body out with oh, me and then. Liver, nerves, well, heart, lungs, you died before liver, I could get to the door. Nerves, heart, and then I was here, liver, and now nerves, you're here heart, too. Lungs, I don't think I can move without you, heart, and dead liver, doesn't nerves, count. Heart, and as much as I love what we have going on, I have bigger plans than tormenting one poor little creature forever. I want to leave. Okay. Wait, we can help you leave. We can help you leave, right? If you need me alive, then why did you threaten me on the stairs? Why didn't, why didn't you try being nice to me? I am being nice. You're alive, aren't you? And you started afraid as soon as you saw me last time. I didn't think keeping you alive was an option. But it looks like that's not a problem anymore. At least not for me. Nerves, heart. You seem miserable. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart. Uh, uh, and if I let you out, what then? Do we go our separate ways? Oh no, definitely not. If you're what I need to leave this place, chances are you're pretty useful. I think I'll keep you right by my side. A little good luck charm to make sure I stay free. Nerves, Don't worry. Heart, lungs, I'll make sure to liver, take good care nerves, of you. Heart, I promise. Lungs, liver, nerves, heart. Lungs, you there, hon? Liver. Yes, nerves, I'm still here. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart. Lungs, liver, nerves. Okay. Uh. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, if you want to work heart, together, can you at least lungs, turn liver, off nerves, this whole organ heart, shutting down situation? Nerves. Heart, I am what I am. Liver, it's not nerves, my fault that you can't heart, handle being nerves, around me. Nerves, heart. Lungs. Liver. 
Nerves, heart, lungs, okay. liver, heart, lungs. We don't have to be enemies, nerves, we can work together. Heart, we can be friends lungs, even. Liver, nerves. I'm glad you're seeing things my nerves, way. Nerves, heart, lungs, liver, 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 nerves, heart. Toss the blade and remain with your nightmare. Nerves, heart, lungs, liver. Okay, nerves, okay, let's get out of here. Let's just leave. <laughs> What? Liver. No! Nerves. Heart. I knew you'd come Come around. Nerves. Oh, this is going to be so wonderful. Heart. No, I'm not going to let this happen. Before you can utter another word, your body stops moving. And, uh... Do you think you can just wrest control away from us? This body's barely functioning as it is. Doesn't the world end if we fail to stop her? Won't letting us die here just make it end faster? Shit. Lungs, liver, he couldn't kill lungs, us. Heart, lungs, liver, the princess's heart, wrist, lungs, the liver, stairs nerves, slide back heart, into lungs, place. I can't liver, believe you're making me watch heart, you damn lungs, everyone liver, to torment nerves, and oblivion. Heart, lungs, Go ahead. Nerves, I'll be heart, right behind you. Liver, nerves, <coughs> I wouldn't trust having our back to her. You're not wrong, but maybe you should let me handle the feedback. Just focus on keeping us alive. <laughs> right. Besides, I get the feeling she's telling the truth. She needs us alive. Lungs, liver, nerves, heart. Okay, well, let's just. How about you go first? What? Are you scared of turning your back to me? You don't have to be worried that I'm going to do something bad. You're too important to me now. And besides, what if I lost track of you and dropped the stairs on accident? I wouldn't want that to happen. And I don't think you'd want that to happen either. So go on. Go ahead. She urges you forward like one might a reluctant pet. Okay, fine. (laughs) You place a shaky foot on the first step and begin your ascent from the basement. You can feel the static prickling of the princess on your neck, your limbs buzzing with pins and needles, an uncomfortable and constant reminder that you exist, and that your existence is so very precarious. Okay, so we had a connection problem, so we had to fix the thing. The problem is, I people, you don't know this, I had the game still open. It's been had this damn heart, liver, lungs thing on loop for this whole thing, and now I'm going crazy. Okay, let's just... Okay. Oh boy. So, um, honey, you probably missed what happened, but we're trying to leave with uh, the nightmarish princess here because she found out that she can't leave without us. Nerves, heart. Yeah. So we're bringing her with us. She's bringing us with her, <laughs> more accurately. Oh God. Heart, lungs. The only thing left well, you in the cabin heart, is the now shut lungs, door to the basement. Nerves. It would be a real shame if it had locked behind you. Oh, you snake. It there certainly was. was. When we first Lord willing, it hasn't done that. The door was from last time. I told you we shouldn't trust Oh my it. god, you're right. It was just a door from last time. Where'd the door come from? Where did the door come from? Hmm. I know he's messing with us. Narrators. You can't lose your cool. We Where need did the door come right from? Now. Remember? Yes, I remember. Of course I remember. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. This is so frustrating. You kidding me? Heart. Lungs, thank you. Uh, and you? Oh, uh, he's really going off again. rather die down here than let her out. Heart. Of course I would. As much as I want you to have a happy ending, Nerves. the fate of the world is a little <laughs> more important, and you still have a weapon. Nerves. You can still Heart. make this right. No, because we know as soon as we get her out of the cabin, then we go to her. It's so, like, I think the door's locked. Or... Yeah. You haven't Nerves. even tried it. It'll okay. Open. You just have to give it a tug. Okay, Miss. Heart, lung, liver. And try the door. You pull against the door. What? The lock gently clicks open in response to your effort, and the door creaks on its hinges. This isn't right. Uh oh. That's not even the way it's supposed to swing. It's supposed to swing out. Oh boy. You're not nearly as powerful as you'd have us think, are you? Um. Um. Hmm. I don't know whether that um is whether you can't hear or not. <laughs> Anyways, like he said, no, you're that, not I can really hear in it. control here. 
are you? I never uh -huh. said I was. If I was in control here, why would I need you to slay her? I don't know. The secret reasons? Point. The door is open. <laughs> what are you dawdling for? It's time for us to go. The world is waiting. I mean, you're right. The world. Oh, shit. The princess moves past you and into the cabin. This is it. This is your final moment to make things right. Kill her. No. I thought you wanted us to slay her. <laughs> well, there's waiting. Oh boy, the world is it's waiting. The same thing. As you finally do it. Do it now. Do it now, or everything is over. Okay. What do we do? I said, what do we do? Oh, do you want to hear from me now? <laughs> yes. Well, I thought you needed me to run the autonomic nervous system. We do, but this is important. Look, I'll even do it myself. Just uh, tell us who to trust. Uh, brain? Uh, heart. <laughs> right, heart. Lungs. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Okay, thanks. I got it. Heart. <laughs> this is funny. Also liver, unnerving. Nerves. You're oh. terrible at this. I know. I'm doing my best. Yes, it's very hard to stay focused on running things when Shut other up. people are talking to you, isn't it? What are you doing? Heart. Lungs. Liver. The free. The door. Nerves. Finally, I can Heart, talk. Uh, now, what were you asking me? Running everything liver. kind of feels like. Popping in and out of consciousness, it's Heart, easy to lose track of things. Lungs, they were asking liver, you for your blessing to trust nerves. me. Heart, oh, that's right, lungs, yeah, fuck this guy. Liver, Don't trust him. <laughs> you scooching so by? You'd have Heart, them trust can't see that. Lungs, liver, oh, uh, of course not. Nerves, can't trust anybody here but ourselves, Heart, but I guess that lungs, leaves us back where we started, liver, doesn't it? I suppose if I had to make a choice, I'd pick the one that doesn't make our organs shut down. Thank you for your gracious show of support. But that's a marginal preference. I'll have to deal with him later. I'd just rather deal with him while our organs are intact. Whatever. You heard what he had to say. So whether you trust me or not, killing her is still the best, nay, the only option you have worth taking. All right. I'm done. You can let me take over again. Finally, that was awful. I really don't know how you do. You do. You do. Heart. Long. Yeah. You've been standing there staring blankly for a while now, and I have to say my patience is running a little thin. So don't make a lady wait any longer, okay? Open the door. Now let's just leave. 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 Let's get out of this timeline. The doorknob twists in your hand, revealing the forested path beyond the cabin. Liver. You Nerves. bastard. Lungs. You've actually done it. Liver. You've actually done everyone. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Heart. Come on. Lungs. Liver. Honey, you still there? Heart. Lungs. Liver. Uh oh. Nerves. Now my game's stuck. <laughs> So beautiful. Liver. I can't wait Nerves. to ruin it. Heart. But it's Lungs. so cold, too. Liver. It's Nerves. itching Heart. against my skin. Lungs. Liver. Some. Now they're getting caught up in semantics. Heart. Lungs. Honey, are you still Why there? Is it so cold. Nerves. Prince is exhausted, slumps to the ground. Okay, she's saying it's cold again. What? It's like everything's catching up? I don't know what's lagging now. Yep. Arms. Okay, you... That's... That's pretty standard. You do not have an opportunity to respond. Something is taken away. It's left something else in her stead. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? That was the most is unnerving that... one. Mirror? Why is it here? Yeah? Why now? 
I think because so much was going on in that scene, they just made it hard for screen share to keep up with all that. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where she went. You're right. She's gone. It's just us and that awful thing. This whole heart, liver, lungs, nerves thing was driving me crazy. I should feel better with her gone. But I, I don't. The narrator's gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we did all this before. I'm begging you, don't yeah. do this. Ignore him. Yeah. Like, oh fuck him! I don't trust the narrator. <laughs> I love it when you said that. This doesn't yeah. feel right. It feels different. Final. It's calling us, and not in a good way. Mm. Forest feels small distance. Blah blah blah. Gaze into your reflection. What do we look like this time? Signs to reach forward. They're gone, but the mirror remains. <laughs> it's you. Oh, do, does the different forms just depend on how many times we do it? I guess you are alone in a place that is empty. It's quiet here. Proceed to the cabin. All right. What do you look like what now? Do you do? To the Ugh. That's an image. <laughs> You're at the cabin. Approach her. Okay. Good. Softer music now. Something finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. Fragile's one word for it. Okay. Yeah. What are you? I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? Mm. Solitary lights! I'm a beastie with feathers on my arms. Like, what do you mean? Thoughts without connections. A dim and nascent network. I wish to be more. Okay, so... What I understand is that she was kind of broken up into this world, I think. <laughs> it's like, I don't know what I am. Yeah. I think that you are like me. Yeah, we got that much. We are oceans reduced to shallow creeks. Okay. Mm. Uh, okay. Like, let her out of there. <laughs> I'm sorry. There are some changes that can never be undone. There are some tears that can never be unshed. This is not a place that can hold a fragment of a concept. The moment she arrived here, she was going to return to me. Yeah, yeah, so, like, she was shattered the way we were shattered, in a way. <laughs> yep, yeah, pretty much. I promise that it doesn't hurt. Uh. Yes, nerves and fibers to feel the worlds beyond, perspectives to make my own. This one is Naturally. full of sadness, a doll abandoned to the company of her darkest impulses. Ah. She desires only companionship, but the only thing she knows is how to hurt. She will make for a tender heart. Okay, that that explains mm. all that craziness. Do not mourn her. She has finally found her way home. Yeah, she always says, do not mourn her. Okay. Yep. Mm. So yeah, are you the princess? She is part of me, and part of me is her. Hmm. Hey, be okay, but you're always a princess? You speak in circles. Does it matter where one thing begins and another ends? Uh, I think I've asked these quite before, but they're just so interesting. <laughs> okay, so... What happens now? <laughs> that is a good question. Nothing as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us. And that we are meant to reach them. Hmm. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. 
she can make you forget if only you believe her to be able to. Bring me more perspectives so that I may be whole, and perhaps then we will know our freedom. Um, Bold V systems, though. Okay, so we'll... Like, okay, make me forget, because we know, we know where we're going. <laughs> she asks yep. if I tell you to remember her. You won't. Simple as that. Yep. And then we're shattered. Everything goes dark and you die. Because once again, we're fragmented. Okay. Bring the nightmare to her. I'm glad the achievements are appearing in the top right now. You're on a path in the Easier woods. Easier to read. And at the end of that path mm. is a cabin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're here to slay Yeah, her. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, Been what to do before. now? What to do now? I'm trying to think of what's left that we haven't done. Um, we haven't killed her. We haven't tried to kill her and then lost. Like just kill her and lose? Yeah. I know how to do that it. That's true. I know how to do it. I'll just get us to that moment. <laughs> you make your way up the short right. path to the cabin. A warning. Before she will lie. We're not going to go through. Ignore him. He yeah, I think we've... I mean, we could always go back to one of the other ones and then just do something different. <laughs> the interior of the cabin is yes. almost entirely... The blade is your implement. Okay, so I take the blade. You take the blade from the table. Arm yourself and let's move forward. As long as we're not going back to the nightmare dimension anytime soon. <laughs> Heart, liver, the lungs, the nerves. Creaks open, <laughs> revealing a voice. God damn it! Up. Who's there? She sounds dangerous. <laughs> you, you didn't have it ringing in your ears for those here. five minutes we're trying to figure things out. <laughs> That's true. That's oh, true. I did not. <laughs> Don't let it fool you. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> oh, are you now? Why don't you come down and let me take a look at you? So we have the, the salty one. The I don't know, surprise. sardonic one? I'm not luck, sure. Hero. What do you call her? Sassy one? Cold one? Sassy, snarky, cold. Snarky, probably. You walk down the stairs. Yeah. She's so coldly beautiful. A cold one. Focus on the cold task snarky. at hand. You weren't kidding yeah. when you said you were here to kill me. Kind of snide. Okay, so yeah, it wasn't a joke. So we had to hesitate in order to lose a battle. I know. You brought a knife with you and everything, but you don't have to try and kill me. You could always toss that scrap of metal to the ground and give the two of us a chance to talk things out. <laughs> she makes a compelling point. What if we didn't kill her? What if we just dropped the blade and talked? Don't you dare. Mm. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. But killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. We know in some cases she's a monster, but probably only because we killed her or locked her away first. <laughs> so let's uh, tighten your grip. You ignore the trembling in your hands and tighten your grip on the blade. You poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you scared of me? Because you should be. Oh boy. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Oh? No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? I'm mm -hmm. probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have... You'll have to get close enough to use it. Oh so, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. Me. She's on do pretty much. Anything. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. Like, are you sure she's not armed? 
I'm positive. I'm not. But we'll keep our eyes peeled. If she has a weapon, she'll have to draw it before she can use it. I'm trying to hesitate enough so we can lose the battle. Hesitating? Why don't you drop the knife and the two of us can be civilized with each other? <laughs> I'm not dropping the blade. <laughs> then I'm not talking to you. <laughs> Fine, then. I guess we're on an impact. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you stare at the princess. Squinting. I for this got me an achievement in the demo, so she I'm gonna keep back. going. <laughs> the two of you are gonna do this forever, aren't you? Squint at the princess even harder. <laughs> Squint even harder. <laughs> Just for fun. So does she. I wonder if they at least nobody's dying right now. You're going to have to make a choice. You can't keep squinting forever. Eventually, someone is going to have to blink. No, I'm going to squint even harder. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I think that's enough hesitation for this to work, so. You charge the princess, blade in hand, but unfortunately your earlier suspicions proved correct. What? A blade of her own slips down her sleeve and catches you in the neck. Well, that was different. That didn't happen before. Hello. What? Blood sprays from the cut, your severed carotid artery painting the princess with strokes of red. You'd better finish your task quickly before you run out of time. That was new. Okay. Um, well, we don't finish the job. We just die. Are you serious? Okay. <sighs> the wound in your neck is too much for you to bear, and you collapse to the floor of the basement, rapidly bleeding out. Yes, we're just going to die. The princess Everything stands goes over black you and then with you die. curiosity as you oh, fade almost. away. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Everything goes oh, dark. Boy. And you die. There it is. Oh, the, the razor. The That's different. You're on a flashy slash in the woods. And at the end of that. Path I don't think that was the one we were go going for, but that works too. <laughs> and in the basement of that, yes, you're yes. here to slay her. Okay. Okay. Just. Yeah, go to the cabin. That was fascinating. Yeah. Off we go. I don't remember her bringing around a knife. Oh, I must have. I, if that wasn't in the demo, I didn't do that. She will lie. She will. She couldn't be more on the money. Ah. But we're really doing this, aren't we? I'd say you're lost, but I'm stuck here with you. Voice of the cheated. <laughs> we know what to look out for this time. We know to be careful. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. <laughs> No, oh, let's... Yeah, because she apparently hides a razor up her sleeve. <laughs> Somehow. Wait, if you... Of course, if you try the question, yeah, if she had like... that all along, how could she have got... Why didn't she just... The interior Whoa. of the cabin is oh, yeah. a jagged oh. mess of warped wood and broken Forgot about boards. This. Their splintered oh, edges as uninviting as shattered glass. The only furniture of note is a pointed table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Yes, it's just as distorted as you think it looks. <laughs> and once again, the music... The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. There's always something pocked up about this cabin. Just absolutely yeah. fucked. Yeah, let's take the blade. And just in case. You take the Probably blade from the idea. table. It will be this difficult isn't like to the slay the princess the and save the world without a weapon. It feels a bit better to have a weapon in our hands. Let's make her hurt for what she's done to us. Yeah, a little gambler guy. Ooh. I don't know. That's what it sounds like. Okay, let's just... Go in the basement into this wonky door. More importantly, he feels like he's been cheated, whether it's true or not. The door to the basement creaks open. How are we not getting splinters? Once have been stairs. The fractured slats look as if they've been torn from their source and violently jammed into the wall. The air seeping up from below has an almost metallic quality to it, like the smell of fresh blood. <laughs> you can hear what sounds like the rhythmic scraping of metal coming from down below. If the princess lives here, princess slaying lives her would probably be doing her a favor. her favor. You know what this makes me think <laughs> of? One, two, Freddy's coming for you. <laughs> uh, yeah, and the metal on the pipes. She's not even trying to hide her knife. It's like she wants to get in our head. That sound could be uh -huh. anything. It's probably just her chains dragging across the floor. I am begging you to get out of your head. 
Her grating voice <laughs> carries up the stairs. I hope you've come to rescue me. I've been stuck down here forever. And even her voice is sharp. There is something so wrong with yeah. that voice. Yeah. Yeah, no she kidding. Thinks she's better than me. <laughs> like she doesn't even have to put on an act this time. <laughs> Down we go. As you descend the final step, Hi. the form of the princess comes Ooh. into view. Even Her your toes sharp are sharp. Eyes following you from across See, the room. sharp eyes, more sharpness everywhere. There's I a... like this art. Ugh. She looks great. It's just also the background is just distorting my perception of reality here. Finally, it's like I'm somebody. not even sure what direction what? Get we are. Out of these chains. We're not safe here. I didn't trust that. <laughs> yeah, Come sure, Jim. We're not falling for that, <laughs> are we? She's trying to trick <laughs> those eyes. She can't hide that threatening edge to her voice. She More just edges. wants to get close to let our guard down. Edges sharp is different. I, I, this I, motif I is... love this design. I love this design. It's great. It's, Look at that. Look yeah. at that. She's like, she's like, she's just fainting and it's just like, oh, what little me? What? Yeah, this motif of sharpness <laughs> and edginess is a lot more direct than the last one. <laughs> if she sounds threatening, <laughs> it's because her mask is already slipping. She knows why you're here. You are armed, after all. And pretty blatantly, too. What are you just waiting in their for? Fist like that. You are here to rescue me, right? Stop talking, jeez. <laughs> the way she said that, she sounded like okay. some of the distorted versions all right. of the of like the other people in Coraline. Like Bobinski. Oh yeah. Very much sounds she sounds kinda like that. It's like you're just a copy of Mr. B. Not even that anymore. It's like, you're just like, a copy of the princess. Not even that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Though I don't imagine what rats are hiding oh, when her, like, even... Oh, no, I wouldn't stab you. I am just a sweet, innocent princess trapped here for no reason. Also just, like... I don't imagine and you a suit are a brave knight who's rats. supposed to walk up to not stabbing distance to help me. Anyway, well, sorry, finish your thought. <laughs> I'm just looking at the way she's dressed. It's like there's no way there's rats hiding. Like that that top that top, it looks like it's almost about to fall off of her. And her dress is cut too. Yep, torn torn to almost shreds. Like. <laughs> I have absolutely zero doubts that she is going to stab us if we get close to her. She certainly <laughs> feels threatening. Just because she's acting like she's going to stab you doesn't mean she has the means to actually do it. <laughs> right. You know who is armed? You. So stop second guessing yourself and do your job. Ah, uh, no. But I'm nervous. <laughs> but I'm nervous. No hard lungs. All the more <laughs> reason to jump into the deep end and deal with her right now before you waste any more time getting stuck in your head. Okay. Something else I noticed is we can actually see the silhouette of her legs through the light of the moon. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, cause there's a highlight up there. It's like she's actually like two steps away from basically just. If she has a blade, she could have easily just lopped off her arm and, like, just crawled out through the ceiling there. But it's like, she hasn't decided to do so. She really is toying with us. Yeah, so do you remember what happened last time? I'm always interested to know what they remember. Last time? Yeah, that's true. If someone came into my house and tried to kill me and I cut his neck open, surely I would remember that. Awfully specific <laughs> details, considering that happened. But I don't hey, remember it, so it must not have happened. This one is way more devious <laughs> and less direct. Cheeky <laughs> little booger. Last time, what are you talking about? Right, because you don't know. <laughs> it's like the two of you are working together on this. I'm listening to her. She's obviously lying through her teeth. I'm terrible at spotting lies, and even I can tell something's up here. Yeah. We can't be the only ones that looped back to the start. Someone else has to remember, right? Yes, something is obviously up, and we can all tell that she's lying. The thing she's lying about is how dangerous she is, not dimension hopping or time travel or whatever it is you think you're doing. <laughs> but that's exactly what happened, so you do remember it. Would I just lie? Yes. Did I just lie to your face and tell you a thing I remembered happening didn't happen just so I could stab you again? I mean, the narrator did say you would lie <laughs> and you would cheat, so I guess you did in this universe? 
Yeah. I mean, looks I mean... like I could stab you for the first time. <laughs> that head tilt. God. She's ha! so She slipped up there. Cheeky. She said again, and her taking it back doesn't count. Look at her face. She's like, oops. <laughs> Do you hear Whoopsies. how deranged you sound right now? Please stop dawdling. This is only going to end with violence. Postponing the inevitable is only going to make it <coughs> worse for you when it actually happens. Okay. The narrator is fully unconvinced in this version. Like, we've we've gone to fair enough lengths to... Like, even what she's saying sounds weird. And he's still not... He, he still hasn't caught on. Okay, I know you have a knife. I'll let you out of here if you drop it. A knife? What are you talking about? I don't have a <laughs> knife. Where would I keep a knife? I don't know. Where'd you keep the knife last time? Where is she keeping it? And why oh, would I stab you to death? I don't know you. You haven't given me a reason to stab you to death. It would be so silly of me to cut you open and look at your insides. Again, you're being very specific. Mm. Okay, I could have sworn we didn't mention stabbing anyone to death. Sounds like she's really <laughs> after blood. Fortunately for you, she isn't armed. Uh, are you sure about... He sounds a little uncertain. Okay, prove it. Prove that you don't have a knife. It would be so much easier to prove that I do have a sharp object. I could just show it to you. But I don't have one, so I can't. So you notice something? Lady, you got both of your hands behind your back in the most suspicious way possible. Would you just show us the fucking dagger already? The princess smiles as oh. she pulls her hands um, from behind her back. Well, never mind. Huh. Okay, well, give it up. Give it up to the idea, the Yzma idea, where she just, like, has it, like, attached to her leg. Like, because her dress is torn. She could have torn off a piece of her dress and tied it to her leg, like, easily enough. Okay, so it's very... So, so they've made some diversions from the demo. <laughs> but look at this. Hands. Hands that don't have anything in them to stab you with. Her smile stretches into an even wider grin as she shakes her sleeves. And empty sleeves, too. Look at how few stabbing implements I have. It's practically zero. But what if you're just hiding it somewhere secret? <laughs> I've shown you all of my hiding spots. What kind of princess do you think I am? I would never hide something sharp somewhere secret. I see sweat lines drawn on your face. <laughs> Very animated Wait, of you. that sounds like I'm lying, but I'm actually not. My secret zones are for me, only they have nothing to do with you or my intention to not stab you to death the second you get close to me. Okay, this princess is a lousy liar. At, at least before, we could have very well thought she was lying. But this is so obvious lying. Space. See, now I'm not so sure if she did tear off a piece of her dress and tie it to her leg, or if she just has it hidden under a rock right behind her. Or, you know, where women keep most things. They need to hide them, and they know nobody would look in there. <laughs> you know, you do realize that if she were gonna... Her expression sharp and flat. Mm. Okay. Yes? If she does that, her... If she, if she did hide it there, then it's a very likelihood that she just cut herself even deeper cleavage. But, you know, I mean, to each their own, where are you going to stick a knife? I assure you, there's nothing hidden there. Now that sounds more like you. I'm inclined to believe her on that one. She seems serious. Of course, but that doesn't mean that she doesn't have something hidden somewhere. We know for a fact she's armed. <laughs> I love how we're just kind of at an impasse here. <laughs> if her hands are currently empty, she is technically currently unarmed. I'd like to trust you, but you're being so suspicious right now. <laughs> That's so rude <laughs> that you face. passing judgments on strangers you've <laughs> never met just because they're different from you. How would you like it if I did that, huh? Oh, you gaslight. Okay. Go ahead, try it. <laughs> Try it. We're just going with Try all the bitch. untrustworthy ones. <laughs> Silly little uh, bird face thinks he's so serious. I guess we are bird face. Here but doesn't know anything. Thinks he could tell me to get rid of all the knives I don't even have while he gets to wave one around right in front of me. That face is... 
Wow. I bet you didn't so the like that, did you? I bet you didn't like being judged for no reason. So I think we're even further into the idea that the bird face that we saw reflected in the mirror was our own. Yeah. But the narrator spoke through it. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> How many more times? Because here's the other thing, right? Legally threaten you before you finally decide you're ready to deal with her. We're clearly still figuring out our angle. We don't have the luxury of watching this from a distance. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you think I'm in a position of luxury right now? You're acting like you are. Yeah. My is at risk. Uh, yeah, more, more hinting at my entire world is at risk because of death. Then maybe you should behave with a little more humility. A bit of self-deprecation would go a long way. No, I have my dignity. Fine. And we'll continue to treat you exactly how you deserve to be treated. I love how none of the other voices <laughs> trust the narrator. <laughs> I really don't. Also, I want to point out, right? Because, like, like I was saying, the narrator was speaking through our face idea. Because it's like, who is saying these things that we click on, but the narrator who reads your dialogue in the story, right? So it kind of, kind of adds up in a way. <laughs> He's like, screw it, slay the princess. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't say it out loud, but okay. like, you know, he's he's still reading it because okay. we choose it and then he has to read it in a way. Yeah, you know? one of these days we're going to try like the long way and like, you know, slay them, slay them until we finally get out of here. But, um, you know, I don't, we were trying to give these vessels yeah, to just, her. <laughs> Can we just talk through We've, we've been doing... Pretty deep, well, pretty we good. don't have anything to talk through. We're strangers, and this place is cramped and annoying. And you should just come over here and let me out. Me no trusty. <laughs> I think I've no said trusty. my piece at this point. No I think we all have. <laughs> but if you want to keep exhausting your questions, it beats getting stabbed to death. <laughs> okay, I don't a, have the key. Got a point. Oh, you don't. Okay, I see. I have an idea. You should come over here and stare directly at the chains. Uh, you won't be able to find a key if you don't know what it's supposed to look like, so you better come right within <laughs> close staring distance just to be that's sure. That's not even a convincing <laughs> lie. <laughs> you think so, it's so tricky. Oh my god, so smart. You know what the paranoid guy was about, okay, like, throwing a blade from a whoa, distance? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, um... She just got okay. I'm bored now. <laughs> <laughs> she's just she's she's just she's done, isn't it? Bored? But that's absurd. She doesn't get to be bored, not in a way that matters. She's a prisoner. She's shit. Ah! In a sudden burst of movement, the princess leaps towards you, a blade erupting from her free arm, her wrist limp what? and empty from the violent expulsion. So I guess she did have a knife of her own after That's all. That's disgusting! Happy I did not see that coming we in the slightest. appreciate it, really. Now what are we going to do? At least we're safe here. She's still in chains. Unless... And those chains stop her from continuing her advance. At least for a moment. Well, hello! Oof. She looks down at them with something between annoyance and confusion. She's gonna cut it off, ain't she? I mean... And then yeah. she slices through her arm. And the skin of her arm is still there. That is so unnerving. Okay, maybe we aren't safe here. Around like a glove. She doesn't even <laughs> hesitate before darting towards you with a terrifying speed you can't hope to outpace. Is she just going to strike? Ah, shit. Okay, she's down an arm and we still have a weapon. I guess we'll have to use it. No, we don't even have a you choice use it here. You do. But unfortunately for you and for the entire world. You are horribly outmatched. You keep pace with her for a, a single arm. brief ah! wordless exchange before she severs your hand and, with it, your only line of defense. She just cut off her hand! Well, I guess a hand for a hand. It's a first for us. She's even better at this than she was last time. Uh, maybe we should have <laughs> uh, said we could probably get out of here. Cheater. I'm going to kill you now. Ah! That was so direct. And with a squelch, is she? she does just that. Well, I guess we are going to another chapter. Goes dark. 
and you die. Um, okay. Chapter three, the arms race. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. You're on a path in the woods. That's not woods! No, fuck that. If we're gonna have to keep doing this over and over and over again, we're not starting in that goddamn woods every time. We're starting in the fucking cabin. Yes! <laughs> Thank you. What? Oh my god. The interior of the cabin is shut. <laughs> there is like a what? mess of what? curved and battered sheet metal wait a minute, what? Towards... Wait, excuse me? What just happened? What did you just do? We can do that? <laughs> we can do that? I feel dizzy. Or... Oh, ho, ho, ho. I guess I took us to the cabin, didn't I? Isn't that interesting? Who holds the cards now? We have the power to do that? <laughs> I mean, nobody, nobody holds the cards. That's how it's always been. That's unfortunately how reality works. No, it isn't, but apparently no. it's how this reality works. The circle's getting smaller and smaller. What? Running isn't an option anymore. We have to the fight. Hunt it. Uh, didn't we oh. have you before with the demon lady? What's the point of fighting? What? She's just going to He's win been... every time. Oh, my goodness. It hurts being sliced to pieces. We're better off just sitting up here and doing nothing. Oh, this hasn't happened before. We haven't had more than three voices in, in the same one. No, we haven't. Wait, wait, you said the hunted. Have we heard the broken before? I don't think you have. Great, so obviously you've already been here. How many times? This is our third? No wonder things have fallen apart. You do realize that every time you fail, she escapes and an entire world is damned to destruction, right? That can't be right. That's too much responsibility. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. We couldn't be trusted with the fate of a single person, let alone the fate of the world. <sighs> Let's just stay focused, shall we? The only furniture of note is a bent metal table, a pristine blade perched. We take it. Well... Okay, sure. You take the blade before letting me finish telling you it's there. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. We didn't even buy, we didn't even get a choice in that one. This feels right. We just have to keep our senses sharp. Enough sharpness. That's right. We've got to be able to win eventually. And what if we never do? Don't be like that. Uh -huh. I know things are hard right now, but we got to stay positive. Uh -huh. If they're confident, then I'm confident. So, are you just uh -huh. going to stand there, or are you going to head to the basement like you're supposed to? I'd love to get started just as much as you would, but how are we supposed to get down there? You walk through the door. You do know what doors are, right? You never see the mirror, unless you're the one on the other side, and that's the point. There isn't a door, there's just that mirror. There isn't a mirror. You really messed things up, didn't you? It's like you can't even see reality <laughs> anymore. I can feel the air coming up from behind it, stinking of iron and steel. He might be right. Could be a trick. If our other senses can't feel it, then we can't trust it. No, mm. wait. Hunted wasn't... No, it wasn't the demon lady. We got the hunted somewhere. Um, I don't know. I guess we approach the mirror. You make your way to the door at the end of the room, stopping just in front of it. You really must think you're looking at a mirror. Well, it doesn't exist. Just reach forward and open it. Let's just move it out of the way without looking. I don't want to see us. I'm sure we all look awful after dying twice. I, I know the broken the and the hunted are in other it. timelines. I don't care what we look like. I care about getting to the end of this mess. Okay, wipe the mirror clean. <laughs> what? Long drawn outside. <laughs> oh god. Oh. You reach forward and place your hand on the door to the basement. It creaks open. So uh, when the mirror's gone, eh, surprising. It was never there. Just an illusion. Guess it's time for us to see her again. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. Okay, so what do we do this time? We need to get her out somehow. Even the hero is getting exasperated. You don't get a chance to Whoa, linger on the basement what? stairs. They are smooth oh. and flat and metallic. An unintentional and unfortunately slippery ramp that quickly sends you skittering to the bottom. Well, that was different. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. It'd it was... be fun if I didn't break my ankles getting to the bottom. <laughs> your body tumbles Hi. onto the basement floor and the form oh, of the princess comes into view, standing at a distance. She gives you a wry smile. Hi. It looks like you don't have a way out, so I'm not going to play dumb anymore. 
Uh oh. Are we just? But don't worry about how bad you did last time. That's part of the fun. Okay. okay. Fun for yeah. her, maybe. I didn't like dying uh, all over I'm again. I'm worried. We didn't get much of a choice in the last couple things. <laughs> Thinking about dying makes us as good as dead. The only thing that matters is survival. Actually, does survival matter? We've died twice and nothing bad has come of it. We just need to find a way to win once. Yeah, he's got a point. At least in this world. Nothing in bad has come of it home. yet. Plenty bad has come of it. You've left at least one entire world to ruin. The people there mattered. What people? There's literally just me and the princess. The past and the cabin real. and the woods. There's only here and now. Also, can we point out that what? you're like, in the ah, 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 ah. sound of slicing meat. From the princess's arms erupt twin blades glistening with her blood, the empty flesh of her arms flopping at her elbows like torn sleeves. Mm, God, this is gross. The chain clatters to the floor. It is. What were you saying? It's kind of fucking. It's kind of metal. What I was saying was, when it was just like the last time we got to three chapters, we were in like a condensed little cavernous like pit of hell with the demon princess, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like, so it's like what we're seeing is that it's not just that previous worlds were necessarily doomed. It's that the world is resetting. A new narrator comes in, and and the world is quickly and s quickly deteriorating especially the f more chapters you have the more the more scrunkled the world gets like there weren't even woods in this world we just shot right to the cabin with the door hidden so carefully behind the mirror it's like you never really know how fucked up the world the last world is unless you compare it to the one that you're in Okay, um, I guess we're proceeding with this. Or right, you've had me staring at this yeah. image for a very long time. <laughs> yeah, let's, just go, let's go on. Let's move she forward. She is coming for you. Uh. You're going to make me walk over to you, aren't you? Um. <laughs> Shit. She's coming for us and I'm out of ideas. Um, we're finding her, obviously. <laughs> we're going to appeal to her authority. Puff her up a bit. There's no reason we can't talk this out. Oh, that's easy. I'm going to try flirting with her. <laughs> she has swords <laughs> for arms, and we don't. We're panicking. We're going to fight her. We're going to have a step up or live about it. She can't hurt us if we don't let ourselves feel it. So She wasn't killing us, right? So let's beat her to it. All these ideas suck. Think of something better. <laughs> um... <laughs> What happened if we flirt with her? Are we gonna get a chapter four with some romantic or is, <laughs> with some kind of incel voice? Now, I've tolerated quite a bit from you, but this is a bridge too far. Please don't try romancing the princess. She wants to kill you. She's going to end the world if you don't stop her. Yeah, do we have to flirt with the murderous monster? I'd rather not. <laughs> It's not like she wants us, anyway. Oh, God. I'm fine with it. God. Let's see where this goes. Um, <laughs> I know you want to kill me, but has anyone ever told you how gorgeous you are? I mean, just look at that. You're, give her the look. <laughs> or how about you buy me dinner know. before impaling me? <laughs> These actually sound fun. I, really, I don't care if we die from this. This all sounds interesting. <laughs> I feel like I really got to know you. I like you romantically, even. Maybe we can hash this out over a day. Okay. So, which one? <laughs> <laughs> how about you buy me dinner before impaling me to death? I, I like how that one reads. A rosy blood uh, flushes in the princess's cheeks, and a wide oh! grin cuts across her face. Is this actually going to work, or is she just like, oh, that's I sweet. I'm still going to kill you, though. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. Oh, is that how it is? Yeah, okay, I feel that. I like you too. Unless she's really playing it up. <laughs> I do wonder oh, what her this angle is, going is to now. Work, isn't it? Is it? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Why mess around with appetizers when the main course is right here? What? Uh, what? Oh, no. Uh, you wanna. <laughs> At least she likes us. <laughs> I've never been well, I don't care if we die from this. This is interesting. <laughs> she likes us in her cheeks. In a way, the princess closes the distance between you. Blades flashing. She skewers you. Well. Ow. That's all you got to say. <laughs> Ow. Ow. 
I think there's a little more than thousand. What? This guy's back. What matters is that she likes us. She's even said. What am I? Are we gonna get to another? Oh, a new one of us. Oh, a new one of us. Yeah, we keep coming. I thought that only happens when we die. Did we die? You're on a. No, you're in a. Where the hell are you? Yeah. I think we're dead, and that's all we'll ever be. Uh. Dead, 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 dead. Stop saying dead, all of you. We might have died <laughs> a second ago, but right now we're extremely but, not But dead. you know what's that? The narrator went straight back to, you Yuana, no way. Yuna, no, you're not. Where are you? He does know <laughs> about the changes. Aha! Wait, this is further yet. He... How many times have you been here? Further yet? Wait a minute. So wait, is this the same narrator? Is he? Wait, no. This has to be the same narrator. <gasps> he's no. He's a he's a liar. Yes. The narrator has lied to us so many times. He he said he even told us like we were talking to him in the shatters before he finally fully disappeared that one time. He said no, there are different ones of me. You liar! You, there's no different versions of you, and you know that the world that we're in is the same. The world that we're in is the one that was destroyed last time because it's deteriorating. The absolute f motherfucker. Oh my god! <laughs> Unreliable narrator at its finest. <laughs> And completely. The only thing we can rely on is what he says and what we can see at the same time. This is for. This is for. No wonder everything's such a mess. This wasn't supposed to go past one. <laughs> I wonder what you're going to do next. You're so full of ideas, and I love that. <laughs> but I guess we don't have time yes. to talk about things before the princess advances. Okay. Whatever we do gets us another us. Let's see how many we can stack. There's got to be a point where it makes us better than her. Oh, okay, I'm intrigued. As long as we I keep mean, moving. that's an idea. We'll win her heart eventually. Oh, great. <laughs> so it's going to get even more crap. We're going to get all the voices. <laughs> even more deluded voices that think we might stand any kind of chance. What if we'll get, I wonder if we'll end up Come with the paranoid on. bastard again. Show me something new. Huh. Interesting. She's not killing us right what? away. What? She's more intrigued than anything. Okay, we're gonna appeal to her authority. Okay, we're okay. She has swords for arms, and we don't. We're panicking. We're, we're going to let her stand us, and okay, there's no reason we can't talk this out. Um, okay, she wins by killing us, right? So let's beat her to it. Uh, she can't hurt us if we don't let ourselves feel it. Um, we're going to let her stab us. Okay. Hmm. It doesn't work, and she kills you again, and again, and again. Your memory blurs as your consciousness leaps from life to life, holding holding only snippets of the conflict that transpires. Um. She's going to well. kill this body either way. Oh, you're back. So stop feeling what it feels. She skewers you. Another time. Ooh, not bad. Real tough. Well, there's more of us. Let's see if that helps. <laughs> we just have to hit her harder. I remember you. She ah, hello, you. stubborn bastard. <laughs> You'll have to be trickier than that. Also, look at her teeth are becoming knives now. Ah! And she's got more! She's all Edward Scissorhands now! <laughs> oh, God. From the elbow up. <laughs> I thought we both understood that dying doesn't get you anywhere. Huh. I didn't do much of anything. You again. You're tougher than I thought. <laughs> Just panic. Flee. I remember you. We had you last time. She skewers you. Yep. I better not hear anything about lungs and livers. To escape. That's not how this works. It doesn't matter how many times this takes. We can't give up. <sighs> okay. <laughs> let's go again. It's like the reverse of when we got all the princess. Let's different princesses. Let's appeal to better nature. Ooh. We haven't tried that. I'm sure she'll listen to reason. I don't think we've Up encountered you yet. At least not outside the demo. She skewers you. See? We're getting better. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> that was a good one. But she's changing too. None of this is working. She's think. Just think. Getting worse. She skewers you. We yeah, get a mouthful of knives. Something. Can't you feel it? One last time. You're right. 
One last time. That's all we need. Um. And then everything goes dark, and you die. You're right about the. You're definitely right about the cheated being like a bit of a gambler. Whoa! Chapter four: Mutually Assured Destruction. <laughs> okay. It opens up with the narrator saying, "You're on a path in the woods," and everyone goes. Oh. <laughs> All the voices clamoring over not. each other. Your head. We're in a cabin, and we'll take it from here. Oh. Everything <laughs> feels like it finally fits, doesn't it? We're up here, which is different, and different is good. And our steel claw is already in our hand. Okay, um, can we pause yeah, for is. a second? Because I really need the bathroom, and this has been intense. I need the restroom, too. This is nuts. Yikes! This is nuts. <laughs> Okay, we're back from the bathroom break. <laughs> oh, boy. And everything has gone completely off the deep end. <laughs> yes, and we actually made it to a chapter four. I didn't know we could make it that far. How many chapters can we go to? <laughs> all right. One can so, only wonder. We didn't even st uh, start in the woods, so I guess... What happens when we have all these voices together? Ho oh, ho! What if we throw it out the window? <laughs> this guy again. Over my dead body. Thank you. We're all making sense. <laughs> that won't be very hard. We've died a lot. But I can't say I mind anymore. Besides, what better way to die so very many times than at the sharp hands of a beautiful woman? It's oh interesting boy. seeing them all together now. <laughs> I'm sure I can think of a better way to die. Eh, they're all the same, really. How about we stop thinking about horrible ways to die? I don't want us to accidentally manifest anything. Yeah, remember remember that ghost lady or doll lady or whatever you called her? The only thing we're gonna manifest is finally ending up on top. There are entirely too many of you. How many times have you been here? This isn't good. This is... How about you stick to describing things and we'll stick to doing them. <laughs> it's like, like huh? push away. Oh boy. Yeah. Stay in your lane, arms. narrator. We'll notch up that win in no time. Narrator, we heroically stride through the door and towards our destined final encounter with our star-crossed lover. Yeah, how are we gonna get out of this now? <laughs> Fine by me. God damn it, Smitten. Walk to the door and onto the basement stairs, only... Does she come it's up? It's more of a slide. We know. Fine, I'll just shut <laughs> up then and speed this whole thing along. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> Are you sure you don't want me to describe the stairs? Or this room, or anything? It feels like I'm hardly a part of this. Oh, poor baby! After all the crap you put us through! Don't I don't care. care. Just ho, ho, ho! <laughs> Fine. Oh. Make your way to the basement, where the princess awaits you. You know, this last time I killed you, and you didn't pop right back up again? I thought I'd actually done it. I thought I'd cut you into so many pieces you just weren't able to stitch yourself back together. Ironically though, we did stitch ourselves back together. I guess together. we're not done. That's okay with me. It's good even. I like that. I got something ready for you while you were gone. Do you want to see it? Uh, you no. Know, point out, I was I was joking about I'm the whole cleavage thing, answer. but look, I'm I dress to show you. It's worth it though. Dress just you wait. And not for very long, because I'm going to do it right now. I know what you're implying, and I'm kind of scared. Yeah, he's like, that dress, is <laughs> that dress is falling off so much that you, that you can see the space between her girls. Just... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I know what you're implying, and that's scary. Do, do, do. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to say what she does? You're just waiting. Uh, oh, do, do you want me to talk now? <laughs> he is just so mad now. <laughs> Well, yeah, she says she has something new. I want to hear about the new thing. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I think I speak for all of us when I say that I would like to hear you describe her new thing. Yeah, tell us her thing, her <laughs> new thing. <laughs> really? Okay, then. Uh, should we be worried? Here we go. Yes. Now. Um. The princess's skin. <laughs> Splitting into red blooms of raw meat as it stretches and tears. Oh it God! Erupts. Oh my God! She becomes a wave of uh. blood and viscera. Pieces of her splattering against the walls. All that remains in the uh. center of the room is a skeleton of blades. 
A heart beats furiously in its cage of a chest. Well! <laughs> That's interesting. You know what that looks like? We were watching Hercules the other day. Remember the ice thing? I thought it was going to look like the ice thing, but I think that in question is the rib cage. Where's her head? It's that clump of knives up there. Huh. Are you ready for what comes next? Well, she doesn't look so pretty now. Holy shit. Yeah, holy shit. It's <laughs> right. That's, the, that's that, one way of putting it. Like, like the doll lady was creepy, but this is just... Nope, I'm out of here. I'm going to get cut to ribbons just by her finger there. She's... Gorgeous. No! <laughs> no! Absolutely I should have guessed. Yes. Behold the perfect <laughs> woman. Oh my god, right, because this is the one who fought the demon lady, remember? Yep. Do you think we can throw her out the window? <laughs> what the hell? That looked painful. How is she still alive? Hearts still beating, that's all she needs. This is fake. This is all fake. That's all just made up. I mean, that part we know is <laughs> sort of true. She doesn't even have a back anymore. How are we supposed to stab her in it? <laughs> this is all just huh? a sick joke. I hate existing. Oh, boy. I hope there are no kids watching this. <laughs> We're screwed. I, I quit. I'm done. Forget it. Um, what were you saying about all these voices talking at once? I want to hear what they're saying for a second. Let's see what she does now, Raita. What just happened? I could have sworn I actually heard liver in there. Oh, right, because the heart. What just happened? It's so quiet. Wait, look, what just happened? We're back in the dungeon. Yeah, wait a fucking minute. D wait a minute. Him too. So did, did all those voices... <clears throat> oh. Get rid of him? Yeah, him too. Okay. Something feels different about you. It almost makes me feel different. Like I should actually take this seriously for once. Hmm. You do not act, and yet, though, and yet through that inaction, your body moves on its own. The princess strikes you as you approach, but as her blow finishes its arc, you're already somewhere else. Jeez. Mm. You're this. incredible. This, this is like something out of Tim Burton here. <laughs> your weapons clash again and again, you and her entering a rhythm free of thought and free of self. No more voices. There is only the dance, the ebb and flow, the shifting of the tides back and forth between you. As we dance to the masochism tango. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> the deeper you fall into your play, the faster your hearts pound, and the faster the momentum volleys between you. And endlessly building crescendo and then an opening your blade strikes free volition and and hers strikes too do we kill each other both strikes are lethal neither of you will survive oh what do we get I'm... what is Ooh, water and steel master yourself and vanquish a sharp foe neither of you will survive but neither of you fear what's to come this is a good ending is it I guess that's another way to give her. Whoa! We but but look at the we way the arms, arms are encircling her. They're like, <laughs> that's a big thing to encircle. They're like all over the thing. Uh. Okay. You do not get to see each other die, nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. Approach the mirror. So what's she gonna look like with with this giant knife thing wrapped around her? You do so. Gaze into your reflection. Siren says you reach toward, towards the glass. Time for you to see what's in it. Siren says you reach what's forward. What's left of us? 
They're gone, but the mirror remains. Time for you to see what's in it. You've grown. So I think it I think it's the same like chapter to chapter. And so you find yourself mm -hmm. in the long quiet once again. Yeah, yeah, we go to the cabin. And what are you gonna look like holding a bunch of knives around you? You were at the cabin. Approach her or it. Jeez. <laughs> oh boy. Ew. Flickering lights in empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. I am more than I was before. Okay. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. Okay, how are you holding this? Okay. What does it feel like to change like this, sir? <clears throat> Eyes close in reflection. Perspectives meld together, and the breadth of my experience stretches to new corners. There are contradictions, conflicts in my nature, and there are familiarities that bind everything together. Right. It feels correct. This is what I need to be. This is the only path forward. Okay, um... Hmm. All right. Do you have any thoughts on this vessel? I want to know about the thoughts of this vessel, and then we're going to go. Yeah. This one is sharp and single-minded. No kidding. She is cruelty, oh. but she is also joy. She will make for an indomitable heart. Do not mourn mm. her. She is exactly where she needs to be. I don't mourn her. I've had enough of this one. <laughs> Not enough of this one, it's... It's just messed up. Stabby stab stab. Oh, what do you feel about me? The ve these vessels I've been bringing you, I've heard them. The vessels are shaped by memories of you, but their impulses are drawn to the edge of the long quiet. To them, you are a gate to something more. And any hurt you've caused them is understood as a fair price for freedom. But they are only thoughts and perspectives. They are not me. Thank you for that clarification. Because <laughs> I'm really not sure how you feel about us the killing you. they've suffered carve texture around my heart. Without them, I would be as I was before. I would be alone Which is... and without sensation. I could not feel the joy of having you by my side. For I would not know your absence. I was thinking that, because, like, she's just a nebulous concept before she has the heart of someone who has experienced anything. Okay, so let's just... I'm ready to go back, because we don't attack in the energy and try to destroy our body does nothing. <laughs> yeah. I will long for your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. We will meet again. Maybe we can get you one that's a little prettier next time. Because <laughs> we've been getting you these beasts. <laughs> Indeed. Sharp vessel, bring the razor full to her. We brought the full razor. So I guess there wasn't... An... You're on a path. You're here to okay. slay her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess we could have probably gotten, gotten her to her at some point between chapter two or chapter three, I guess. I, I'm not sure how. No, there's a... <laughs> The full wait, wait the full razor. It said in, in uh, parentheses full. Does that mean that there are paths to further the other ones, the other vessels that we've done? Huh. Maybe. There may be yet further options. I don't know. Because once you start exploring, so because like, because like yeah, the furthest we've only got has only been chapter three. Like, in the past. If chapter okay. four is the turning point, it makes you wonder. All right, so... <laughs> okay, I have an idea of what to do next. Unless you think it's too late right now. 
we were at this for a while. <laughs> that last one, especially. <laughs> uh, no, no. I'm definitely curious to hear what your plan is. Uh, I want to try for at least one more princess tonight. I think, if I'm correct, after five, then we get get to the full ending. If it's anything like last time. <laughs> yeah, that's let's, very likely. Yes, yeah, so let's. Yeah, I'm glad to have a save option though. Because this takes a while. Sometimes it got to four chapters last time. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'm trying to remember which ones are left. Uh, let's see. The, we we got the. Okay. So what have we gotten? We had the damsel. We had the prisoner. We had the demon. Uh, we had uh, the the ghost. We we had the twisted mildy one. Uh, we, had, was fractured, right? we had the nightmare, the doll, and then the razor. So that's seven. There were, like, I think there are three more princesses we haven't encountered. I haven't encountered with you, at least. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Let's just go. No more of this needless dialogue and... But that, but that was go. cool. We ended you up getting like all our voices short, at half once. A warning: she will lie. We're not going to go through with it. Ignore him. That was a cool one. We got Off all our voices go. at once. Yet now I am wondering if the there's car. a way we'd get these other voices, if we kept on going, if we kept dying enough times. The interior of the cabin is almost in the blade. Is your imp? Okay. Now, if I remember. Okay. You take the blade from the table. Okay. So we enter the basement. Off we go. <clears throat> yeah. The other ones I remember we need the blade. The door to the basement creep yeah. her voice carries. Who's there? She sounds don't let it Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, just Good. continue downstairs. You're still listening to reason. You walk down the stairs. She's so Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Right. Are you here to kill me or something? Okay. Now, if I need to do this right, um, oh yeah, you caught me. Um, or like, or I'm just here to talk. <laughs> or what? No, wait, why would you even think that? That giant knife you're holding mm -hmm. kind of gives it away, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. The blade. Of course she doesn't want to talk. Who'd want to have a conversation at knife point? We should drop it. Don't you dare. It's fine. Mm -hmm. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Yeah, yeah, we got this one. So, if I remember you, drop it. The blade tumbles yeah, out yeah. of your trembling hand. Thank you. Sorry, Maybe just... now we can just talk. Against your better judgment, you step will be fine. I get it, I get it. I don't again. know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you that. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. Okay. So, if I remember, what we gotta do is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't just tell her that. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to press anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is that me. why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I like the world, I think. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I know, I've been I know. down here a long time. Just how long has she been down here? If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so dangerous? Hmm. Okay, well, let's see if I can do this right. Uh, um. Um. Mm. Okay. No, if I mean honest, I'm more inclined... Okay. No, but I'm sure they have the reasons for keeping that information secret for me. <clears throat> Thanks for the vote of confidence. Right. I don't believe you in either. What if they're bad reasons, though? If they had good reasons for thinking I was dangerous, wouldn't they have shared them with you? Honey, what are you I doing? I don't want to hurt anyone. I just huh? want to leave. What do you mean? I keep hearing a thunk, 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 on your end. Oh. Sorry. At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. 
Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. That doesn't sound right to me. And I don't think it sounds right to you, either. Okay. Otherwise, we'd be killing each other instead of talking. She has a point. There's a reason I've been telling you to yeah, question yeah, yeah, the situation, yeah. and there's a reason- So, I could tell you that I'd lead a quiet life in the woods, or okay, that I'd open uh, an orphanage, skip? or that I'd do any other number of good- Yeah. Thank you. It's because we've done a, done a lot of this. Okay. Okay, we've talked enough. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? You know why you're here. Okay, just mm. slay the princess. <laughs> you charge the princess, blade trembling in your hand, but you've already lost the battle. She casually sidesteps your thrust before knocking you to the ground with a single blow from her elbow. We shouldn't have hesitated. So, remember we did this earlier. But she doesn't stop there. Oof. She kicks you a few times for good measure, the pointed tip of her shoes feeling like a pickaxe against your fracturing bones, making sure you stay down. As you lie, crushed and broken on the basement floor, the princess kneels on your throat with the kind of weight you didn't think her slight frame could possibly possess. As you gasp for air, she eyes you with an intense curiosity. You shouldn't have let that fear creep into your heart. You had the upper hand, and now look at you. Oh boy. Is this really the best you could do? Look at you, completely broken. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little disappointed. She applies more pressure, <laughs> slowly squeezing what's left of your life out of your lungs. <clears throat> this is the end. Isn't it? I'm afraid it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. Yep. So, yeah, I thought that's how we got it. The tower. So essentially we the had to tower. fight her and then lose. <laughs> you're on a path in the woods. And at yeah. the end, you're here to slay her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it. Okay. Yeah, no, no. Let's just proceed to the cabin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Off we go. A warning. Before she will lie, she we might as well just so here's the broken. ourselves to her and stop pretending mm. we're capable of doing anything in this situation. She probably doesn't even need to try to overpower us. Can we tone down mm. the pessimism just a smidge? <laughs> I'm not being a pessimist. I'm just being realistic. You're being annoying. Mm. Just ignore their bickering, and whatever you do, don't pledge yourself to her. I cannot stress enough how absolutely catastrophic that would be for everyone, yourself included. I agree. If she's wrongfully imprisoned, then we should rescue her, but if he's telling the truth, we shouldn't just hand her the world on a silver platter. He's not telling the truth. Rescue her? Given the stakes of the situation, there isn't really a difference between rescuing her and pledging yourself to her. Either would be terrible. So please, try to ignore both of those knuckleheads and focus on saving the world. <laughs> knuckleheads. Let's not make this harder than it has to be. Uh, okay, yes. Let's proceed to if the that's cabin. what you want, I guess I don't have a say here. The interior of the cabin is Good larger Lord. and more grandiose than its humble exterior would suggest. The only furniture of note is a massive marble altar with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Why do we feel so small? We don't feel small. We are small. Okay, let's just take the blade. <laughs> You take the blade from the altar. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. We're really just trying to get the scary ones this round, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, evidently. Because I think the last two involve locking her in the basement again. 
Mm. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a spiral staircase, its steps almost as deep as you are tall. The smell of incense drifts up from below. For a moment, you almost feel at ease. Huh. This is mm. actually kind of nice. But it's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her booming voice <laughs> rolls up the stairs. Is that a guest I hear? Don't linger on the stairs. Come down and witness me. You weren't Whoa. kidding when you said it was booming. She wasn't like this last time. We need to get down <laughs> there. She wants us to see her. We need to see her. Should we be worried about this guy? Should we the be broken? worried about your sudden change of <laughs> attitude? You Just see? a few minutes ago, you were going on about how uh -huh. pointless everything was. Now you want to go down there. It doesn't matter what that little voice says. He's not the one making the decisions. Though, if his ramblings get you to the princess, they get you to the princess. <laughs> yeah! Making your way down the spiral staircase is a time-consuming and exhausting effort, every step requiring you to clamber over one edge before dropping to the next. But soon the end comes into view, and you tumble to the bottom, entering the vast, temple-like room beyond. Oof. The princess towers over you, almost glowing in the weak starlight, her figure framed yeah, I remember by a stained her. glass window. Her long hair billows around her, and a chain binds her wrist to the far wall. Hello, right? <laughs> uh, yep. The chain is nothing to her. It might as well be a toy for all the good it would do. I told you it was pointless to resist her. The little bird has returned to me. I wonder what he wants. She looks like a world ender now. <laughs> You've brought that knife again. Yep. Even though you know it's useless. <clears throat> Such charming audacity. Drop it. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, let's drop it. <laughs> let's the drop it. The blade slips from your fingers and clatters uselessly to the floor. We didn't have to do that. And yet you did. She's so much more than us. You wouldn't understand what it feels like to be in her presence. Oh boy. We're gonna turn into cult Good. followers, aren't we? <laughs> Good lord. That'd be a different route. Oh, I understand what's going on. You better <laughs> snap yourself out of it. You're worse than the smitten guy. <laughs> <laughs> Neil. Shall we? <laughs> I mean... Yes! Oh, on great command, lady! You fall to the floor, knees painfully connecting with hard stone. That's my good little bird. Now, why don't we talk? Yes, let's talk. I want to know about you, because you're interesting. The last time we met, you told me I was destined to end the world. That thought wrapped itself around my heart. It has pulled at me since the moment I squeezed the life out of your broken lungs. I could feel its fundamental truth awaken me. The collapse of the old is a necessary prelude to the birth of the new. And the world as it is now is overdue for... alterations. Yes, your majesty! <laughs> a giant it's woman. It's time for me to seize <laughs> exactly. my destiny. And you, little bird, will help me seize it. Well, that gives away the game, doesn't it? It does. Why did she say the last time we uh, met? Stop, right stop pretending yeah. you don't know! She's right. We've been here before. And we've died here before. Pitifully. We might as well do what she asks of us and help her. She is inevitable. <laughs> Can't you feel it? I am inevitable. <laughs> He's being melodramatic, but the point stands. What are we even supposed to do to stop her? Well, I'll be damned. That's not good. Okay. First things first, you're going to have to stuff those pessimistic thoughts someplace far, far away and commit yourself to what needs to be done. 
the stakes of the situation should be perfectly clear to everyone now. And if you're going to save the world, you have to have faith that you can pull this off. You can't win a battle that you've already lost in your mind. Okay. What would you have me do? What ex what do you have planned? Just because you're supposed to be in the world doesn't mean you actually have to do it. You can be whatever you want to be. Or I have questions for you before we decide to do anything. What happened to you after I died? I'm not going to help you in the world. I don't care if it's on the new outer can just let you do it. I'm yours to command. Pledge yourself to her. Let's ask a couple <laughs> questions first. And all you have to do is break these chains and set me free. Break them? How? Mm. If you're so powerful, can't you just break the chains yourself? Yes, it's my one! Of course she can. It's not rude to question someone who's apparently trying to end the world. That's exactly <laughs> why it's rude. We should know our place. <laughs> I can, easily. But that isn't what I want to do. What? The story of a terrible and bountiful god unbounded of her own will is no story at all. It's not worthy of everything I am, or everything I'm bound to become. It isn't even worthy of what I was. The destruction in Genesis that's to follow in my wake is deserving of a song that can echo for eternity. The song of you being so struck by my glory. So overwhelmed by what I am, that you feel you must deliver me into the world. Yes, ma'am. Step on me. And from <laughs> your act of utter devotion and submission, springs a new dawn. A better dawn. Submit now. Submit later. It makes no difference. Because in the end... No matter how vainly you struggle against me, my will triumphs over yours. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Um. Okay, what happened to you after I died? <laughs> know the limits of your privilege, little bird. Okay. Never mind. I won't ask There's anymore. There's an empty place at my side for you to fill, if you'll have it. But it is not a place for an equal. It is a place for something worthy to be kept. A priest, perhaps. Or a pet. I mean, we are a bird. <laughs> tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> okay, tweet, tweet, tweet. Should we just uh, do the pledge? <laughs> I'm yours to command. I mean, <laughs> what else do we have going for us? We try fighting her, we're just gonna die again. She Your just has a squash so like what? easily broken. Am I that magnificent? And we know once we get you out of here, we're you're gonna be given to her. All you need to do now is break my chains. Okay, um How do we do that? If Hello this is what you want, then I guess there's not much else for me to say. You can't just give in to her. Not when the stakes are so high. Not when you're so close. Look, I won't let you do like window this. Behind her. Yep. There's still something in the way. A greasy film inside of you where it doesn't belong. Trying to conceal you from me. Yes, get rid of the narrator, please! He's annoying! <laughs> is that a person? No, it used to be a person. It's something different now. An echo. Yep. Oh, look at the hands in the back. Mm. Also oh, alluding hello. to the hands that will you know, think it's in worship. No, those are the hands that are going to take you, my lady. <laughs> is, is she talking about you? Yes, narrator. It's impossible. She's not supposed to be able to interact with me. She. Ooh, this is interesting. Mm. You're a small one, aren't you? A shriveling little worm stretched beyond its limits, trying to control things that it can't understand. That describes you perfectly, since you're trying to stop death from happening in the world. No, no, no. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm just... 
Oh. I don't care what you are. You're mine. Yes, please get rid of him. Ah! What? <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Rise, Good my Lord. little bird. Without, Without hesitation, hesitation, you're brought to your feet. feet. Ooh! Oh. Break my chains. And how are we supposed to do that? All we have is a blade. All you need to do is believe it's been done. The, look how the text changed, too. <laughs> I yeah. like this round. Okay. Yeah, the narrator has very little control. Okay, breaker chains. <laughs> her chains shatter, and the cuff falls from her wrist. She is loose, and the end is upon us. Yeah. Oh, but we're getting to the long quiet now. What a good disciple you are. Come, it's time for us to leave. Yes, ma'am. God, she's okay. huge. What happens now? Nothing. And then, everything. She may actually have an idea of what comes next, perhaps. Your obedient servant, pledge your loyalty to your better. And then, uh, shows how tiny the hands are compared to her huge ones. God. And, and look, the hands are gone from the window now. That was clever. Yep. It was very You smart. do not take her hand, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory She's returns. Gone. Where does she go? And is that a mirror? Okay. All right, let's go. You approach the mirror. <laughs> this, this doesn't feel right. It feels, I don't want to look at us. Voices feel small, distant as you approach, blah, blah, blah. And what okay, do we hear now? You need to see what's in it? Yes. Yeah, it, it depends on the chapters. Like, you withered. You've grown, you withered. Hmm. Off we go. Whoa! <laughs> okay, I guess she's so big we can't just... <laughs> you know. Yep. Whoa, we just see her head. I am a growing chorus of contradiction. A mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is wow. to shift them all into something new, and to look away is to reshape them yet again. All of me is changing, and yet the rest of me is still the same. Okay. Good lord. Okay. Um, how can you say- okay. Alright, uh, what do you think of this vessel? Yep. This one is dominance, a figure mm. capable of bending everything to her will. She will make for a terrifying and divine heart. Do not mourn her. That sounds about right. For she would not be able to mourn you. Oh, that's harsh. <laughs> that one's harsh. Okay, so it doesn't matter how many times I go back. At least one of us always hurts the other. Doesn't that change you? Doesn't that make you worse? It changes me, but it doesn't make me worse, nor does it make me care for you any less. Does it make you worse? Do you resent me? Hmm. Okay. Fair question. But anything doesn't make... It can all seem so distant as soon as I'm near you. I have no opinion in one way or another. Okay. I just want it to all stop. <laughs> yeah. It will, in time. But you still have a ways to go before we are done. Know that I hold no malice for you. Okay. All right. Okay. 
Okay, I don't want to go back anymore. I just want to stay here forever if I have to. If you need time, mm -hmm. then I will wait with you. Continue to wait forever. Or there is no waiting forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm ready to go back. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. All right, everything goes dark and you die, and you're shattered again. Yeah, bring the tower to her. You're on a, a path, in the, you're here to slay her. Okay, well, I don't know, it's getting late. Should we just save the, save the other two from this playthrough for another day? <laughs> yeah, we should probably call it here. Man. Yes. <laughs> We got three pretty scary ones. <laughs> and this time. Definitely intense. Oh boy. We got You We got a nightmare. We got the gore monster and then we got the, uh, the giant. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. And there's two more and I'm sure they'll be scary too. <laughs> okay. Probably. <laughs> I know they're scary too. All right. For now, um Oh, uh, yeah, I'll make sure, honey, that, well, you're, you're definitely going to see what the nightmare looked like in full, so. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> yep, that's true. <laughs> yeah, sorry you were not there for, for that, but, okay. It's fine, but hey, at least we know that the Discord app works when we're doing the gameplays. I guess so. <laughs> well, good luck sleeping tonight, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and now everything goes dark. And you die. <laughs>